two more baby otters in with their parents. One of the baby otters is looking a little bit malnourished. He's a little bit smaller than his sibling. Well, by a little, I mean a lot. I'm being attacked by giant birds right now. So these are the adult Asian small claw otters. The little baby otters are back inside of here and you can see that they are small little guys. What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now guys, I know all of you have been waiting for an update on the neighborhood cat that we rescued and well, you guys are going to get that update in a second, but I want to let all of you guys know what we are going to be doing today. Today at the zoo there is two more baby otters in with their parents. These are Coral and Casper's younger siblings. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We don't know what the genders are yet. We will determine that in a little bit, but I just got a phone call from Mario telling me that one of the baby otters is looking a little bit malnourished. He's a little bit smaller than his sibling. Well, by a little, I mean a lot. So we're going to have to go head over to the zoo in a little bit. And we're gonna have to actually take the babies from the mother so we can hand rear them just so there is no deficiencies. You know, a lot of time in the wild when you're dealing with these wild animals, when they're first born, there'll be two babies, but by the time they get a little older, one of them dies for whatever reason. You know, in the wild, it is the strong that survives, so this little baby is looking a little skinny, so we don't want him to die because, well, these are just amazing otters, so we are going to go head over to the zoo in a little bit, grab the baby otters, but before we do that, guys, I've got to give all of you an update on the rescued neighborhood cat. So he is inside right now in my sister's bathroom way over there, so yeah, we're gonna head over there and do that now. And here he is. This is the abandoned neighborhood cat, guys. We took him to the vet, and this guy is just an absolute sweetheart, and actually, the vet said to not even stitch it up and take a look at this guys it has completely healed on his own that's the way mother nature works hold on little guy let me see let me see your let me see your little wound if you guys remember from the video it was completely wide open not looking good but on its own with no stitches it has healed it looks just absolutely amazing this guy is doing good his fur starting to grow back you're such a good little neighborhood cat hannah's been doing a great rehab job good job with this little neighborhood cat i think Thank we're going you. to have to adopt the neighborhood cat guy so go right now stop what you're doing stop and go comment down below a little name for the neighborhood cat because, you know, we haven't named him yet. I think we should name him. Hannah, what do you think? I think so, too. And now that you guys got an update on the little neighborhood cat right here, guys, I am going to go head over to the zoo right now where we are going to be rescuing these little baby otters. We don't want anything bad to happen to them, so I will see all of you guys over there. I just got here to the zoo, and before we go and rescue these starving baby otters, guys, we've got to go in here with the emus. we got to feed the second largest bird on the planet. I mean, look at these guys. These guys are like real deal velociraptors. Let me just uh, head on in here right now. These guys are going to be coming for me. Ah! Oh my gosh, guys. They're trying to escape. They're trying to come at me. Oh my gosh. I'm coming through. I'm coming in. Oh, guys. I'm being attacked by giant birds right now. So if you look at these emus, they are the second largest bird in the world. And well, I really don't have to worry about their beak just because, well, these guys, their beaks are like paper mache. They really don't hurt that much. They're not hard. They're actually quite soft. Hi guys. Hi. Look at that. We got some more, uh, some stuff here. Let's put that back in there. Here, you want some? So these birds are, uh, they're pretty crazy eaters. Go comment down below if you've ever seen an emu. I mean, these are one of the coolest birds. And I actually kind of want to get some in the future. I don't have the space right now at my house. Once I get my own place, you know, I'll definitely be adding some of these guys because, wow, they're just so, so cool. They're a lot of fun. And I want you to look at their feet. The feet are just something else. They are like these real deal raptor feet right here. And they're just like these crazy paws. Their legs are big and scaly, just like reptiles. For those of you guys that don't know, birds are actually, ah! Oh my gosh, guys. This guy just tried to attack my sunglasses. Let me stand up so he can't get me there. Birds are actually real living relatives of dinosaurs. Reptiles are really not related to dinosaurs. It really is birds that are. Well, guys, I'm going to head out of the emu enclosure right now. I've had a great old time with these two today, and we are going to finally go right now, guys. We're gonna get some supplies and save these baby otters. Guys, we're getting ready to feed the little otters right now. We gotta feed the parents right now because, well, the babies are over there in the back, and the parents get real protective over the little babies. Hi, little guys. Hi, kids. So these are the adult Asian small claw otters and they're just chowing down on the fish. They got a nice big bowl of fish right there, enough for them. We're gonna head on over to the back right now. Just while these little guys are distracted over here, you can see the otters have a big, beautiful, gorgeous enclosure. Now this pond right here, we just cleaned it yesterday and you can see the water is all dirty. Reason being is these otters like to play in the dirt. They then attract the dirt, the leaves, the rocks and everything else into the back over here. The sun causes algae to grow all in the pond, but we change it every other day. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna drain it out just so there's no nasty bacteria that's in the water. 
but these otters are in the back over here and we've got to save them because one of them is a runt I don't believe the mom is taking care of them entirely the moment of truth is here the little baby otters are back inside of here and you can see that they are small little guys one of them is the runt that's the skinny runt right there and then we have the big fat guy you guys can really see the difference right here between this little guy right here hey watch out buddy you got the big fat guy right here and then this guy's just a little bit skinnier and look at this guys Look at this, we got a tiny little baby peeing otter right here. So this is the big fat one, and this is the boy right there. You can see that's, you know, his balls right there. And you can see this little guy right here. This is the little runt female. Now, the female otter is just generally gonna be smaller to begin with, but it's not good that this one is that much skinnier. You can see just how much skinnier it is. So the female is generally going to be, you know, a lot smaller than the male, but this is just way too small. You can see that she is significantly skinnier, significantly smaller, and well, we're gonna have to take them out right now. We're gonna have to get the weight to them so we can determine how much to feed them. We are here in the medical room right now. We have the two baby otters. Now the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to weigh them. We need to get these initial weights to monitor how they're growing when we start them on the formula. So that way we can track how much they're growing, making sure they're growing enough. And we also are going to be weighing them right here on this scale. So you can see we have a nice scale. We have this little styrofoam cooler thing. And well, we zeroed it out. So when we put them in, we get the proper weights. So we're gonna start right now with the bigger one right here. This is the little boy otter right here. Like I was saying before, you guys can tell he's a boy because you can see that right there. That's how you know he's a boy, that little thing right there. We're gonna put him in right now. I would say he's gonna weigh around 300 something grams, maybe 500. Here you go, little guy. We got uh, 557 grams. And here we have the little female otter. Now she is considerably smaller and that's the reason why we pulled him because of how small she is. He was 557 grams. I would say that she is going to be around 300 something, maybe even in the 200s. We're gonna put her in right here. We're gonna see how much she weighs right now. And she is 370. 370 grams, so she is about 200 grams smaller, roughly, than this little guy right here. But as soon as we get them on milk, fish, ferret food, she should be gaining some weight in no time. We've got the little baby otters entirely weighed out. They're just sleeping in here together, having a good old time. What we have to do now is we have to get all of our supplies ready to bottle feed them. We're gonna use this milk container right here. This is the same container we use for Coral and Casper. That's gonna go right in here. We have the same bottles right here that we use for Coral and Casper. We've got some Esbalac right here, which is otter food. We're gonna take that as well as a big bag of Esbalac right here. Yes, that's right. Baby otters drink the same thing as little puppies. It gives them the same nutrition that they would get from their mom. So we're gonna give them this puppy milk replacement. So now that we got the baby otters from their parents and we got all of our supplies to bottle feed them, guys, I'm going to go head home right now. We're going to set these baby otters up and give them their first meal. One hour later. We're here in the kitchen now and it is time to get this otter formula going. So if you guys have seen some of my previous otter videos, you will have seen how I make formula. For everyone that's new on the channel that has not seen those videos yet, well, I'm gonna show you guys right now how to make some otter formula. So when you go to make the otter formula, right now we're gonna use this half cup right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one part formula to every two parts water. Now since these guys just came from their parents, we wanna make sure that they are fully hydrated. So instead of adding water this time, for the next couple feedings, we're going to add some Pedialyte, which will help hydrate them. You know, a lot of times we give this to newborn animals that are dehydrated, rescued animals, all the animals benefit from Pedialyte. We're gonna get one nice big scoop right here of Esbalac. We're gonna kinda of top it off so it's nice and even. Look at this, we got one whole pretty good scoop of Esbalac, so we're just gonna take the Esbalac, put that right there in the blender, and now we're just going to be using the Pedialyte right now. Wow, this on pretty tight. We're gonna take a small handful of fair food. So I'm thinking, you know, roughly about this much. We're just gonna kind of sprinkle it in right there. That right there should be enough. We're just gonna put the excess pellets in there. We're going to put it on the blender right here. Smack, smack, and we're going to fire her up. We're gonna start real slow and woo! Okay, the blender is nice and complete. We've got our formula completely blended up. We're gonna pour the formula in just like that. We're gonna pour it up. I would have done a full cup, but since these otters are small and gonna be on just a little bit of formula at a time, we're gonna start with just a half cup, which is going to give us enough for about 24 hours. When you're making formula for any animal, well, you only wanna make enough for 24 hours since it is a milk-based product. If it sits for longer than 24 hours, it could spoil and end up 
causing your animal to get very, very sick. So we always want to use fresh formula. We're just going to give it one more good shake. We can see that it's nice and consistent. It's that little cookie cream color. That's exactly what we're going for. So now we've got this little scale right here. What we're going to use for our bottles, we're going to turn the scale on. We're going to be pouring about 25 grams of formula each. Now, I'm not expecting these otters to drink all 25 or even any of it right now at this point just because these guys were just pulled from their parents. So we got it at 17 grams for the bottle. We're going to zero that right there. We're going to tear it. Come on. Work. Okay, there we go. We got zero grams right there. And we're going to take the formula right here, and we're just going to pour about 25 grams worth of formula. All right, we're at 26 grams. One extra gram is not going to be bad at all, so if it doesn't drink all of it, it'll be just okay. We got 26 grams of formula right there. We're going to heat this bottle up and feed these otters. Okay, the bottle is ready. It should be nice and warm. We got to take a nice feel with it with our finger and it passed the finger test. It's perfectly warm. It's the right temperature for this little baby otter. We are now ready to feed the baby otters. Now these otters have been with their parents for almost two months now. So it might be a little bit tricky getting the otters onto bottles. They're used to their mom's nipple. We may have to syringe feed them. I am not entirely sure, but after a while, after they get like really hungry, they should take the bottle no problem, but it's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge. Now we just going to go and I'm gonna go for probably the female right now. So I want all of you guys to see the female again. She's almost two months old, but she is pretty tiny. You know, she is such a small little baby otter. I mean, she is just absolutely adorable. And we don't want her to get malnutrition because the male otter was definitely taking some of her milk when she should be getting a lot more. So we're just gonna put her down here. She may not want the nipple. She's a little bit scared right now. Hi, pretty girl. She's kind of chewing on it. And well, is she gonna take it? She's kind of just chewing, chewing, chewing. Mmm, that's some yummy formula. Guys, I am so happy. She's taking the formula pretty good. She hasn't quite mastered the bottle feeding part yet. You can see that she's chomping left and right on it. And that's why I have my fingers around her face so she can't chew on it with her molars. I'm just kind of just holding it right there. You want a little taste of that? Let me try with the syringe. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She's actually doing pretty well with the formula right here. Oh my goodness. So this is the little boy otter right here. He is nice and fat and chunky, and this is the guy that was hogging the food from the female. So you can see he just is a extremely healthy, beautiful little baby otter. I mean, I just can't believe I get to be around these animals every single day. I just. I love him so, so much. Just take a look at his cute little scrunchy face right there. I mean, I don't think I have ever seen a cuter animal. So this little guy right here, we're gonna try to give him around 20 grams of food. We're gonna see if he wants to take the bottle. He should maybe want to take the bottle. Here you go, bud. Here you go, you want to try the bottle? So he's doing the same thing as the female. He's just kind of slowly taking it. We may have to be syringe feeding him just a little bit, but like I said, like I was saying earlier, these little otters have been drinking from their mom's nipples. They have never had a bottle before, so it's going to take a little bit, maybe a day or two for them to get fully comfortable on a little bottle. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. If you guys have not already and you enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up. And guys, I need all of your help. I need names for the two baby otters. So go right now, comment down below a boy name and a girl name for these baby otters. And if I like the name, I will pick a winner in the coming videos. Go comment down below those names. I'm gonna get back to feeding. And if you guys are not subscribed already, well guess what? It is the first link down below.